Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is, man. As expected, man. Um, these companies are already putting it out there. Bart LeBar Ball saying that the dude stole his possible logo for his son's shoes from Ohio State. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, but see, this is how these things start where they start to like put, you know, Operation Takedown in effect. They put something out there and then they see if it, you know, if the public bites on it and then they start, you know, blowing the situation up. I already told you guys, I predicted this was going to happen. Now, don't come on here talking about why do I want to see a dude like LeVar Ball fall, uh, fall, you know, why am I hating on another black man and all that bullshit. Man, get the fuck out of here. I keep telling you I don't have a problem with him, you know, selling shoes. As I said before, it's the price tag. You know, and don't give me that shit about Jordan and all that type of shit. Because do you really want me to do a, a Jordan video where I can shut you guys down about Jordan and his shoes? Yeah, I think I will do a video about Jordan and his shoes so I can shut you guys down. As you guys know, I've criticized Jordan for some of his antics. A lot of his antics on how Jordan like shunned the black community. How Jordan used to shit on rappers. You know what I'm saying? So, don't try it. But I'm going to do a video on Michael Jordan, a special video on Michael Jordan. And his his shoe deal com compared to, you know, Lonzo Ball coming out the gate. Charge the people $500 for his shoes. I'm going to just do a quick ether video of, for you dudes that keep bringing up Michael Jordan. And let me tell you something else. For the people that keep saying he got his own shit... And at least he not being a slave to the uh the other shoe companies. What part of that you don't understand where I said I don't have a problem with him selling his shoes? I keep saying it's the price tag. You guys need to watch my videos closely. I bought strawberries. They was fifteen dollar shoes. It's for the same niggas that's sitting up barking about Jordan and all that shit. So, the same way Stephon Marbury sold his shoes for 15 bucks, why can't he sell his shoes for 15 bucks? Since you guys keep talking about, but why you got a problem with Gucci and Versace? I mean, you don't have a problem with Gucci and Versace selling their shoes for 500 Look, the sneaker game is a little bit different from high-end shit. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, I learned my lesson about that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Totally different ball game. So don't try it. You know, this is for you idiots that keep saying, oh, well, how come, you know, you willing to pay $200 and put money in Nike's hand, but you don't want to pay uh, $500 and help a black man out? Yeah, keep in mind, a black man who ain't even married to a, a, a black woman. Y'all seem to forget that part. Keep in mind, this is a black man that came out the gate attacking black players. Stephen Curry, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, saying his kids was better than LeBron James' kid. Now all this shit, and then he was talking all that little sort of, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me and all that type of shit. But then when he made a little remark about uh, the white basketball players, then all of a sudden... He, he, you know, he backed off. Now, like I said, the reason why people started having his black ass on TV because he did, he came out the gate attacking black players. Why didn't he say he was better than Larry Bird? Why didn't he say he could beat Larry Bird 101? See, I done went to a whole different realm, you know what I'm saying? Because of you motherfuckers trying me. Why didn't he come out the gate saying he could beat Larry Bird 101? Or Tom Chambers. You know, or Dirk Lewinsky. Yeah. That's what I thought. Shut the fuck up, man. Dude came out the gate attacking black black people. And that's how that's his claim to fame. You know what I'm saying? And the media exploited that. You know what I'm saying? But you dummies too too stupid to realize what happened. And y'all sitting up attacking us for attacking this dude. The dude is a fraud, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool. I just wanted to eat through y'all with some quick knowledge. I'm out.